hello and welcome to this video we are going to be modeling this retaining wall with a shaft key or a beam at the heel part of the retaining wall reloaded analyzed and designed the wall successfully in this video so we get started but before then do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel so phrase it successfully let's proceed we will have to create a new project you come to new right there and then we have this we prefix it with one we scroll down to select the code of practice we'll be considering hero code click on the ok options to create an hero code template successfully here we go the template is ready we have to navigate to modeling tab click on the orthogonal axis generator pick a point on the joint environment so in the direction what exists this direction is label a and it is always the horizontal direction so we are going to be having some grid lines of space 1000 you have comma we have another space of a grid line 200 we have comma we have another space of a grid line uh 1800 all right the 1000 is the toe the 200 and 1800 is here so we are having a total here distance of two meters all right while the two is the one meter in the direction a direction one level a in the direction two level one okay is the vertical direction so in the direction we will be having the first grid line at 500 millimeters comma so the second one is going to take the length of the wall which is 6000 all right comma and then we'll add 500 just like this click on the ok option this is what we intended to have all right so we now we proceed to the model for the save the project and we save this project we got to wall right there we need a wall thickness of 300 right here so we have to centralize this right here so 300 here is supposed to be 150 and then here is supposed to be 150 okay just like this so we have to be placing the wall from this grid line 3 and C intersection so zoom closely pick that point so this is going to be the top constraint of this wall for the bottom constraint we will pick this point and then we will pick this grid line and then we will click on update okay so we will check that in the 3d if that is actually effective okay you notice we did not touch the stories we use the default stories height of three meters you can see here so after which we close this we navigate to the 3d to make sure that The wall is inclined successfully so this is not inclined as you can see but we want to try to make sure it is inclined so select this and then pick this point and then select the grid line b this grid line and click on the update you see it's now inclined you cannot see all right so now it is inclined all right so we navigate to story zero and then we enable the plan view of the story zero after which see, see how we have the wall now come to where you have slab yes option come to loading apply all these combinations click on the ok option so in this slab dialog the thickness it is going to be 300 right there okay so we have 50 because this is in the soil so let's just take it 40 millimeters as the concrete cover all right so over here we can enable some loadings right here so for the additional dead load we can have that to be the closing thing for the impose load right there we may choose one of these impose load here just like this after which we come to general and then we use a cantilever slab this one all right so we we now have to navigate to where we place it so we get to count and then it gives this line to be 2000 
just like this the first point repeat the second point and place that successfully let's see so the next one we'll be having is going to be 1000 so we have to pick this point all the way to this side and place this okay the next one we have in is going to be 500 just like this pick this point and this one to have it just like this this point and this point have that okay so having uh, placed the load uh, the slab successfully click on the close options and then we get to the beams right there so for our beams we are going to be having a beams uh, width of 2 to 5 okay just like this and then come to the depth we have a depth of uh, a beam to be uh, 500 right here okay or we can make it 600 make it 600 and then come to the provisions for the elevations in the I end we have it that to be 300 elevations in the Z end we have it to be 300 as well just like this after which we pick this point so this is the this is the hill part of the cantilever okay retaining wall so we pick here to have that place successfully after which we can choose to close this for now navigate to the 3d so see what we are having here okay so so what we have it you can select this and then come over to where you have this prefix this with minus okay just like this and click on the update so you now have this now just like this okay so we are almost done with the modeling so at this point you can proceed to save the project and then you can't navigate to the building set out and then here choose layers right this point you can navigate to where you have the beams for the beam arch you can choose these options the only okay and then the slab arch okay we can also choose these options select here and click on the okay then for the shower arch okay shower this one you can choose this same arch okay after which we click on the OK options to have this successfully. The next thing we'll be doing is to load this cantilever retaining wall. Okay, so for us to load this wall now, we will have to save the project first. Having saved the project, we navigate to the loading right there. For the loading, we will move the grill lines to story one. And then click on the load editor so on the load editor we come up All right here we go this is the load editor click on the soil load this option once you click on it you just have to select the face in which you want to apply the load so i'll pick that once you pick the first a dialog will come up in the last presentation on retaining wall design i've explained this you can check that video successfully click on the ok to apply it retaining wall uh the head pressures are uh, load successfully okay so this head pressure is actually a an active it is actually an active per head pressure okay acting against the wall trying to push the wall away right there so click on the ok options to have the load applied successfully if you want to check whether the load is actually applied on this wall get back to the loading editor to actually know that it's the, the load is still existing right there ok options and save the project right now we are going to be analyzing the structure for you to analyze the structure you navigate to the analysis tab did it analysis So in the building analysis dialog, we will make sure that we come to the model and then we come to share wall model and then we use finite element share wall share model. Okay, so we use 500 here as the plate width or the shell width and height. Okay, after we come to this provision, you have to check the model if it is okay. So we click the building model check 
Let's click on the start to see if we have any error. Okay, zero error we have right there. So click on the those options right there. Click on business analysis. In the business analysis, we are not going to design, we just do an analysis. So click on building analysis. Let's see if we have any warning after the analysis. So you can see the analysis is completed successfully and then we have already to three draft and both directions satisfy the limit successfully. Click on the OK options, All right? After which you close this. So now you can now proceed to design the structural uh, members that make up the uh, returning walls successfully. So what you do right here is uh, we have to design the shear wall first. At the story one, you see shower, select it, right click, and then you can use any of these two options, okay, to bring up the design dialog, which is this one, okay, and then got it out. Batch mode design, we select all bar, calculate. So the calculation is successful. Click on the close option. To have this design U ratio 0 0.6, which is good enough. The bar selected is H10. You can see all through. Okay, but as construction, you can use H12. Alright. To cater for the unforeseen circumstances successfully. Click on the close option. We're done with that. So we want to design the beam. You go to the story zero. And then if you come over here, you see beam, this one, but you can design beam here. For instance, select this beam, right click, and then click on this, and you see beam design. You will notice in the dialog, there will be nothing that will be in there, okay? You can see no beam in this dialog right here, okay? So to get the beam design, okay, you have to navigate to the design tab. And then you see we have our foundation beam, click right there. And then in the foundation beam dialog here is the beam. So we come to bash mode beam design. We select all bars, calculate. Yes, option. So design is successful so fast. We go close. You can see if the beam has been designed successfully. Alright. So after which we will look on the close options. The next two design is the slab and design the slab you define it element uh, analysis to carry out the slab design okay meaning the base of the wall okay so you check that in the previous uh, presentation i've said this project previous, previous presentations on returning wall i've explained all of that successfully okay so we can also view the rebars in this since we have done with the design to view the river, can come to view options and pass it through the rebars. Okay, well, this 3D rebars only works for walls and then foundations. It doesn't really work for uh, reinforced concrete slab. It doesn't also works for beams. Okay, but it works for walls. So this can be able to give all the 3D rebars of these walls successfully. All right. So just as we have it, just like this. Okay. You just have to select it there words okay so once you select that see the bars has been created successfully so here are the bars uh, arrangements successfully for the beam you can print it through uh the drawings and reports and as well as the slab after you must have designed the slab successfully okay so we have been able to run uh the modeling loading analysis of this uh retaining wall with a shear key or a tool and heal beams successfully. I believe you have learned one or two things in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay connected. See you in the next video. Thank you and bye for now.